Hello, and thank you for taking the time to let me speak to you on behalf of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. We at AIFD are deeply saddened by the enormous tragedies of just the past week. In Pakistan, 141 innocent people, including 132 children, were murdered in cold blood by individuals claiming to act in the name of Islam. In Yemen, two separate bombings killed at least 25 people on Tuesday and eight yesterday. Again, most of those murdered were children. And again, the killers claimed to act on behalf of the Islamic faith. In Nigeria, Boko Haram has abducted around 100 more women and children and murdered 35 innocent people. As is well documented, Boko Haram believes it too has divine justification for its barbarity. The name itself means Western education is a sin. And we still don't know what happened to the women, over 200 women who were abducted last uh, earlier this year. And in Sydney, in the one of the bastions of freedom, a madman and self-proclaimed cleric held innocent people hostage at gunpoint, killing two of them. These incidents are the tip of the iceberg. This madman was not a lone wolf. He was part of a pack, part of a growing global pandemic of radical Islam that's coming out of groups not only like ISIS, but countries like Iran, Saudi Arabia, a movement that's continuing to grow and grow. These murders done by groups like ISIS and their followers or self-declared Islamic State, as well as honor killings, girls who are killed as a result of female genital mutilation carried out by those claiming Islamic justification, and so on. We see now slavery of women in the areas of war controlled by ISIS. Unfortunately, even so many years after 9-11 and after countless lives have been taken with the name of God dripping from the lips of murderers, the media, our government, and most of all, our communities still fail to recognize, much less address, the root cause of these tragedies, Islamism. Islamism, which we distinguish from the personal faith of Islam, is a theopolitical ideology devoted to the domination of other faiths. Islamism, which we distinguish from the personal faith of Islam, is a theopolitical ideology devoted to the complete and non-negotiable subjugation of every person, but especially women and minorities, to its supremacist agenda. While the cancer of Islamism ravages Muslim communities, taking the lives of dissidents and poisoning the minds of others, while it preaches and incites hate against Jews and Christians, sexual minorities and women, and while it reaches its tentacles further into the halls of power, too many Muslims remain silent, and too many non-Muslims are complicit in their silence, either as active enablers or well-intended allies of the Islamists, who are masters of deception. The American Islamic Forum for Democracy, or AIFD, was founded in the wake of 9-11 to combat the very central problem, which is Islamism or the Islamic State, head-on but also to advance individual liberty through the separation of mosque and state. My battle against Islamism began much earlier. My practice of faith is one free from compulsion. My parents raised me to believe that the only sincere practice of faith is one free of compulsion and that Islamism is the direct and malignant enemy of morality and free will. The eruption today of not lone wolves but packs of wolves from a common source of Islamism is a wake-up call for all mankind. The Muslim consciousness is going through the same time in history as the West was in the 17th and 18th century against theocracy. Secular Arab dictators brewed a cauldron with political Islams or Islamists and now they are both on fire and lost are the moderate majority who have been abandoned by the West and are being manipulated by the powers that be from Russia, Iran and China and the monarchies in the Middle East. We need vision. We need to take sides within the House of Islam. We need a strategy. We can either declare war on a quarter of our humanity or wait for them to come our way as they get nuclear weapons or we can take sides within their religious indigenous revolution in Egypt, Syria, and as we see across the Middle East. As we see so many innocent lives lost to the Islamist monster that spares not even the smallest child, we must remember that to sit idly by is to be complicit and to step back out of fear is of no use. After all, 
Our silence does not and has never protected us from an enemy who believes itself to be acting according to God's plan. The Islamist enemy is not afraid of death, but is terrified of the free exchange of ideas, the perseverance of dissidents, and the refusal of the majority to take its cause. We hope you will unite and help us unite the free world by joining us in the battle of ideas against Islamism. Please visit our website at aifdemocracy.org to learn more about our work and subscribe to our email list and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.